Hello and welcome to the year six part of our induction evening. I am Miss Rossa, I teach in Pine class with Mr Gibbard. And I am Mrs Allen, I am in Juniper class with Miss Key at the moment. Gone too far. So we're just going to talk through some of the key aspects of year six. I'm going to start with the curriculum. We teach lots of exciting topics in year six. We've started already with the ancient Maya. We had our Maya day with our Mayan feast. I know that some of you have had to make that spicy Mayan hot chocolate at home. So I hope you enjoyed that. We are then going to move on to World War One uh, just before Christmas. Then after Christmas in term three, we look at the polar regions. We're moving on to the rainforest and finishing in term six by looking at Bristol. Throughout year six, we use loads of really fantastic texts to engage us, and we use these regularly in our literacy lessons as well as in our reading sessions. We've started already in our Mayan topic using a book called Middle World, which is part of the Jaguar Stone series. It's a really fantastic adventure book. We then, during our World War One topic, read Private Peaceful, which is a new book to year six this year. We know it's a really fantastic book, so we will enjoy that. For our new Polar Regions topic, we are going to be reading a couple of texts, but the main one will be Shackleton's Journey, which is a non-fiction text. When we look at the rainforest, we read Gorilla Dawn, another really fantastic adventure book, but has lots of um, social issues within it, which we can unpick. And then we finish with the Bristol story with lots of very local information in that text. Across year six, there's loads of fantastic books that we recommend you read. This poster will go home at parents' evening, but we also share it in our classrooms and our book corners, and it's full of suggestions of books you can read. Most of these books are in our book corners, but obviously if you see a book there that you think we don't have and you'd like us to find, let us know. We have high expectations of handwriting and spelling in year six as we do in every year group. On the screen, you can see the curriculum list that children should be able to spell by the end of year six. There is also the handwriting policies joined letters that we expect children to be able to use accurately and consistently so they've, they've got neat, consistent handwriting. So moving on to maths, we are following the white rose scheme of work. So this is our overview, which tells you roughly what topics we're doing and how long we do them for. It might change by a couple of days, maybe a week, but this is the general idea of how maths in year six will look. So we started already with number and place value, which the children have been fantastic at. And we're going to be moving on to number, so addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And we thought it would just be useful to quickly show you what that looks like in year six, how we do those different written methods. So if we have a look at addition and subtraction, very simple column method. We lay it out yeah, in, in the column method. We also have to add and subtract with decimals, which again, we use a column method for. We also add and subtract fractions. Um, we add and subtract fractions with different denominators. So the key thing before the children add their fractions or subtract them, they need to make the denominators the same using their times tables. Then looking at multiplication and division. For multiplication, we do long division, again, using a column method. We do that with um, whole numbers and also decimals. We multiply fractions by multiplying multiplying the numerators and then the denominators. In year six, we move on from short division onto long division. We do do a quick recap of short division, but our main focus is long division. And we use the method shown on the screen now, which might look a bit confusing for now, but once we've gone through it in class and spent a good time making sure you are secure, it is such a fantastic method that will help you in primary school but also in secondary school and then there's just how we divide fractions there as well we divide fractions by whole numbers we don't divide two fractions in year six there's lots of ways that you can support your child at home um, on the screen are a few examples so it's really important that you're reading with your child and that your children are reading to themselves but as out loud as well 
we send homework home on a Friday. We send spellings home either on a Friday, but often on a Monday. And it is very useful if the children can be practicing those spellings throughout the week, but also completing that homework and then getting it back in by the Wednesday. It's really important that children get to school on time. Obviously at the time with COVID, it's particularly important, but beyond that, school starts at a set time and we must be on because we come on time, because we come straight into class and we are straight in and learning with morning work and then into maths. Uh, before summer, Google Classroom was set up. It is still set up. Currently, Pine Class are grouped into Pine Class. Children who were in Sycamore are now obviously moved into the Juniper group. It's really important they sign up to Google Classroom. We will still put things on there. We'll let children know when we do. But obviously, if anything should happen, they will then have access to all of our resources. So another key thing that is coming up really soon for you is deciding which secondary school you want to go to. So normally about this time, secondary schools open their doors, you come in, you get a feel for the place. Obviously that can't really happen at the moment, but luckily secondary schools have got around this by doing virtual online open evenings. So we've just put a few dates there for Bristol Met, Fairfield, Orchard and City Academy. Obviously there are lots of other schools in Bristol. We found these just by searching online uh, Fairfield Open Evening. So if you wanted to look at Cotton, just type in Cotton Open Evening and it should come up. If it doesn't, just give the secondary school a ring. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you out with any information that you need. To apply for your secondary school, it is the 31st of October. Normally we have the Jim Britton from the local authority coming in just to talk you through that process he obviously can't be here one of the things i've listened to it many times one of the key things he always says which i'd like to share with you now is please put down three options don't just put down your first choice schools don't see if you put them as choice number one or choice number three so it doesn't matter which order you put your preferences in but please just put three choices down if you need any help with the form, just give us a ring. Mrs Hinchy or either of us will be able to help you with it. So please make sure it's done. So finally, thank you very much for watching this and also for your continuing support to help your children really achieve the best. Um, we hope that that's been really informative, but if you do have any other questions, please feel free to get in contact with us. And hopefully we'll be able to start seeing you on the playground in the not so distant future. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and we will see you soon. Thanks.